So Jace is out here. I'll walk around a little bit so he knows I'm out here. Um, Jace is out here cleaning up part of the yard so that the log delivery tomorrow of Hemlock will have a good space. But I thought I'd show because we haven't shown much of the tractor work recently. And he's got the, um, the grader on the back. You can see the driveway's looking a lot nicer, um, less rain damage and things like that. We had a huge scrap pile over here. Um, that we ended up actually posting for free. Um, and a bunch of people came up, grabbed some for art projects, grabbed some for firewood and a bunch of different things. Um, or for, you know, uh, outdoor fire pits and things like that. Um, tractor, I think it were like 170 hours, maybe 180 hours on this now. Um, really loving it. If anything, we'd go one size up um, to the four series. Um, but, uh, but this is, this is, does it really, really well for what we need here on the property as we've added more and more projects like the mill, uh, and, and all of that. Um, so the good parts on, on that is that we're also starting to add some more fun attachments like you can see here that we got late in the season last year. Um, we do need to get a couple loads of gravel at least. Um, to redo our driveway. So that'll be maybe a project this year, not sure. Um, but we're, I think we're getting 3,000 board feet-ish, roughly, um, of hemlock logs. So that will fill this entire area right here and still be able to drive around the, the driveway. The other good news is for our Norwood mill, we took advantage of the very large sale that's happening. Um, and we are getting the trailer unit for the mill, which is going to add a lot of stabilizing as, as well as make it much easier to move it around. Um, you guys can kind of see, there's a very large drop off right here. Let's see if I can show you guys. right there um, so making sure that we're uh, <laughs> keeping this bank in a good condition is important and unfortunately we do have the very invasive um, uh, stuff here but it um, it does hold the bank up so as much as I hate having invasives especially something like this um, it is actually serving a purpose the previous owners um, I believe probably planted it from the looks of it So, not something I recommend having. But as I was saying, we did order the trailer for the Norwood. Um, it was like crazy, 50% off or something like that. Um, we ordered an extension as well. So we'll be able to do much longer logs, I think up to 16 foot maybe now, at least. Um, right now we're limited to about 12 and I think it, it gives us another four feet at plus. Um, and we ordered the engine cover so that we do not need to tarp it like that anymore. So that'll be really nice. Um, and will work much better than the tarp as well. It was made just for the carriage. logs left from last fall um, so we will start working on those <laughs> he's trying to get me here as I'm walking around so still quite a few but uh, and we got our mulch pile and compost pile and then we got some scraps over here that we got to take care of um, 
but garden's coming along. Jace just put together this um, uh, support for the tomato trellis, so I'll do a video on that with him um, pretty quick. But yeah, here you can see the mill. So we do need to move the mill out because of our solar panels and the way the roof is. The ice was dropping right next to it and sort of almost on it. So um, being able to adjust with the trailer will be really nice. We didn't get the light kit and things like that. We figured we could add that later if we ever need to bring it off the property. 